So I'm embroidering a book and it's going to be on a spool. So the, this is what I would call a spool book and um, historically this would be a scroll book. So it's referencing both history and um, my mother's sewing. This particular text is going to say, you are a treasure beyond all measure. And I'm sewing in a, like a measuring tape, the little increments of inches. And a variation of that is this book that I made. It comes in a box. The box is made of salmon leather, which is from salmon skin that my husband Bill made. And this particular spool book, it has a piece of indigo dyed cloth, which is a map. And this one is on a seal knuckle bone, which looks a lot like a spool, so I thought that was appropriate. So this one's called Beyond Blue, and it says, salt, sea, and sand grind against the spiraled sky. Back and forward, my life unspools into one long arc of jetsam. In and out, the tide stretches together what unravels in the dark. Waist deep in sky and sea, everything divisible by blue. From these indigo pockets, golden agates tumble into my hands. Although most people might not think of this as a book, it is a scroll, which are some of the earliest books from many parts of the world. So um, I feel like it's really appropriate and references the history of books. So um, I think it's very hard to invent something new. And what's more interesting is to just think of things in a new way. When you make something, it has all of this meaning that you imbue into it. But what makes it meaningful for someone else is just as important. And if it's not the same thing, it really doesn't matter to me. That it touches someone, that's the gift of making something.